Can I interest you in some J-League, my guy? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out, Andrew Kerr. Genius. Uh, hello. Oh, yeah, he's great, Andrew. Hello and welcome uh, to a very special episode of The Culturist Pod. Well, we're going to be uh, breaking down uh, some football <laughs> uh, on the Southern Hemisphere. Um, <laughs> I've been in the Southern Hemisphere. <laughs> <laughs> Get your below the equator, you dick <laughs> I was going off rugby, rugby yeah, terminology. As an Antipodean, as an Antipodean, James, come on, it's you've got to know that. You've got to know that. New Zealand, oh, yeah, New Zealand's in the time here, but Japan's a bit, isn't it? Apologies. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> apologies have... to all. Apologies to all the uh, Tropic of Capricorn uh, <laughs> viewers. <laughs> We're gonna be. Can I interest you in an Asahi? <laughs> can I interest you uh, in some Sapporo? Uh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, we're doing the J League this week, the Japanest football league. And the best league what in the will, world. What will sound like a kind of hip here? The Korea, the Korean league is more my bag. Um, <laughs> well, big, is the is the Korean league about to get? My Korean league's probably about to start as well. We'll do a Korean. I think special. it is. Yeah, with uh, Jesse Lingard playing as well. I forgot who he signed for though. Um, Soul, uh, Soul, soulless player. So uh, there you go. <laughs> I'm, I, I, I have to say this in a hipster accent, otherwise people will think I'm. I, I'm more of a Pohang Steelers guy. Um, they, they, were play, they, they, they were playing John Book Motors in the uh, AFC Champions League qualifiers. Yeah. I'm not mistaken. Round of sixteen, they drew one-one, lost an aggregate. Oh dear! So you do <sighs> not see. See, the, 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 this is why we were born to be together, not to sound like Stan out of Eminem song uh, but because uh, you're the only non-degenerate gambler I know that knows this information yeah <laughs> yeah don't gamble but do um, do uh, just just take an in- yeah in benefit which is more pathetic really this is an incentive behind taking interest in it with gambling because there's money on the line whereas I well, just... it's, it's, it's not smart the way I do it but the reason <laughs> I fell in love with the J League James originally uh, was uh, back in the house in days of lockdown um when there was no other league I, I, for a while, I've got a Vitebsk shirt in there which I've worn on the podcast. Oh, nice. Do do check those episodes out. Um, but yeah, so the, it was in it was like in the summer when everything else was still off in 2020. Um, oh yeah, I think so. Anyway, and anyway, the Japanese league from in full flow, and uh, because I used to bet on draws, still do occasionally. But um chess stuff. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, go watch the Wrexham special we've just done. Um, uh, uh, we hate chess stuff. Um, <laughs> so, sounds like it just sounds like racist abuse to a Bulgarian fullback. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so basically, uh, within within the space of a month, I won five grand on the J League. And oh, all wow. one, te- one team as well, which is my team, which we'll get onto further uh, when we select a team for James. Um, so is, is that why it's the best team in the world for you? Is the best league in the world? Yes, because it was, <laughs> uh, and and as well, the odds are always great, and you tend to get more justice than any other league I've come across. <laughs> like like where the, where because. Bucky's do it for degenerate gamblers, uh, not like myself. I am a degenerate gambler, yes, but I'm a smart one. Um, but they'll do, like people will just bet on the whoever's the favourite, just no without looking. Go, yeah, they're fine. But yeah. If you look at it, like favourite odds on will be bottom of the league. They haven't won in six months, playing top. So and then top will be like three to one. So that's when smart people like me, and you tend to get. Whereas sometimes it seems you, you seem to think, do the bookies know something here? Because why has this shit club just won? Yeah. 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 Or do be aware of false profits, as I found out <laughs> yesterday at the uh, Hearts As Ian Watkins once found. <laughs> <laughs> as, uh, <laughs> as the 2.30 at Market Reason. Uh, <laughs> well, what was the tip for today, I searched? Baldur's Gate, 33 for 1. I knew I was mental. But uh, I'd love you. I'd love you as a commentator on Cheltenham. Yeah, just when, just when they go, <laughs> go to the side and they go, well, it has been an unprofitable yeah. day. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> just never sound of me ripping up slips. Well, <laughs> yeah, I, like, I, I, they should. 
They should have that on our, on our horse racing, just one guy, just one degenerate camp. Like the Limmy sketch. Yeah. The Weens. <laughs> Aaron. Oh. Um, but I, I am doing my Cheltenham research, though. That's a separate podcast, so. Um, it is. Uh, so, the, oh, yeah, because when, when, this, when I met you, uh, and since we've been friends, you mm. advised me on what leagues uh, to bet on and what leagues yes. not to bet on. <laughs> Uh, I'm, a, I'm a good friend who likes to endang- <laughs> and imperil the uh, finances of my friends. <laughs> yeah, you are going to lose money, but there's degrees of losing money. Um, Argentina avoid, Brazil avoid. Oh no, Argentina bet on. Argentina, oh, Argentina bet on, Brazil avoid. Brazil avoid, uh, Brazil is always rigged. Yeah. Somewhere yeah. else you told me, to, I think another South American country you told me to avoid. Oh, Ecuador, that's the worst Ecuador, one. Ecuador, yes. Yeah. Yeah, uh, like just because like some teams will be playing at sea level and then they'll be playing away <laughs> up a fucking Andy, right? <laughs> away at seven thousand feet. <laughs> yeah, respirator FC. <laughs> um, that's not funny. That is genuinely not funny. Um, well, it is. So the so the J League. Not, no, not if you're Roy Hodgson, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Although has um, has has stepped down, um, but we're stepping up. Uh, to the J League today. <laughs> for me, I don't know. I, again, this is something that I've I, obviously always have been aware of. It. It, it for me, it's always kind of like the league you skip past when you're looking for a team on FIFA. Mm. Uh, but I do use their kits if yeah. they're playing like pro clubs with my friends. But for me, a lot of it. Yeah, like, like the Newell's old, Newell's old boy badge. Everybody's yeah. got knob as the badge. Knob, yeah, exactly. Um, but. Uh, for, for for me, it was a lot of like, like most leagues is like they 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 sort of not very well uh, they're not very popular, uh, but do produce a good amount of talent that will then play for a more popular league. I mean, there's an abundance of Japanese players that have graced uh, the, the the world stage, both for European clubs and South American. Uh, I mean, you, I imagine you've got some that spring to mind. We got well, like Premier League. I think uh, we got cat, uh, Premier League winners. Uh, you got Kagawa, Okazaki, yeah. uh, Inamoto. Inamoto. Uh, who was who? I think I might be wrong. Somebody, somebody, uh, call me a cunt and call me to I am wrong. I'm sure he was sort of a sub in the Invincible season. Um, then you've also got obviously proper. Uh, you can, you would be remiss if he didn't mention Shunsuke Nakamura, the greatest. Yeah. Uh, just like uh, it just seemed seems to be. And it was in that it was in the Halcyon days before um, stats and stat pedos ruined uh, football. Because a sort of player like Shunsuke Nakamura, who only retired two years ago at forty-three, wow. by the way, um, was like he seemed to score from thirty plus yards every week. And yeah. like, not just in not just oh no, just SPL. No, in the Champions League, like he scored that. Um, Against United, free yes. un- unreal free kick. Oh man, um, unreal! Yeah. Um, what a player! Um, and it's and it, and it also looked a bit like he looked a bit like Japanese John Lennon or John Lennon's son. <laughs> with um, like so, what, the, what was not to and just the name as well, Shunsuke Nakamura. What's not what's Great not name. to like then? Did um, is it Hidetoshi Nakata win Premier League? No, he played for Bolton though. Like Bolton, right? So uh, it's, like, yeah, it's great as well. Looking, I, I was looking at Nakata before. Um, yeah, the, the, again, Halcyon days where players used to retire, uh, like good players who uh, played all his career in um, Serie A in a lot in like late nineties, early two thousands, where it's the best league in the world still. Because um, James Richardson's having a coffee, what reading Gazette de la Sport? Um, <laughs> yeah, what more do you need? Uh, and um, uh, yeah, and like yeah, the halcyon days of players actually retiring at clubs like Bolton and not going to like Qatar yeah. or somewhere for one last payday, which uh, you do understand, obviously, because careers are short. However, um, to retire at Bolton is a noble feat, I feel. <laughs> <laughs> and he was very, and he was very noble with his feet. Um, boat, boat, boat. I, Positively, I don't know what Mark. Mark, Mark <laughs> Noble Zaki. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that is a good point. Like, you can say a lot for the the pay, the weather, the luxury. However, you know, but the, 
the, the pain do do a through pie? the weather of Bolton. Do we do a cup pie? <laughs> have they um, got? Have you ever been to Moses Gate? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> have you respect. seen? Have you seen the Tesco that is bigger than the ground at the certain perspective? <laughs> Yeah, you can't get a Frankie and Benny's two minutes away from the ground, can you? In exactly. On and a TK Max. Yeah. Because like, last time I went to Bolton away, um, in the car in the Carabao Cup. We will get on to Japanese football properly. I do. I do promise you. Um, the last time I went, which was like six months ago, when we played them uh, on our route to almost glory. Um, yeah, I went in TK Max to try and buy some sunglasses because it was too bright. But yeah, that, you don't get that at any other ground. Uh, no, yeah. you, you re- it's what the San Siro are missing, really, a hobby craft. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough art <laughs> and craft. <laughs> <laughs> Bernabeu, where's your shoe zone? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got beat uh, We got beat 2-0, but I did buy an easel. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious! That let's go get some. Let's get some hush puppies before the game. Um, <laughs> speaking of uh, speaking of, of free, to be fair, there's kind of a bit of a uh, resurgence at the minute. You got players like Minamino, uh, oh. Matoma, Nakajima, oh. uh, Wataruendo playing for Liverpool. Oh, yeah. um, my favourite player, or my core hero, Japanese hero, is I'd say. I don't know. I wouldn't say like is a cult. Maybe it is cult status, but I'd say. Nakamura has a high cool status. It was Kaisuke Honda. Oh yes, one of my favourite players of all time. Uh, played for Nagoya Grand State. A la Gary De- Lineker. <laughs> the definition of swaz on a free kick. Oh mate, yeah. yeah. Before that, Lily YouTuber then became. Uh, oh, are you aware of them? I don't know. No, no, I'm not, I'm not aware of that. No. There's a group. There's, there were two YouTubers who. Uh, oh, like recreate goals and that. Freestylers, um, one of which I've heard is not allegedly not a very nice person. Um, <laughs> Honda, however, <laughs> one of the left foot, uh, <laughs> reliable, one of the reliable left foot, mileage, like, <laughs> reliable. civic. You played for Nagoya Grand Prix, uh, VVV Venlo, one of the best names in football history. Oh, yeah. Um, and then a big move before the World Cup to CSK in Moscow, where he pretty Ooh. much was his, kind of his peak. He went to AC Milan afterwards, but wasn't as good as he was at CSK. I remember him for at the, Jap- uh, at the 2010 World Cup for Japan, where he was absolutely immense. I think, the, I think they played Denmark and he scored two free kicks in one game. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. One from like 40 just, yards as well, because he just went, by Honda's accord, I'm going to score. Oh, really? Yeah, Ooh. there you go. Uh, back than the Henry back. Kissinger, I imagine. But, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite as many losses. Um, so, yeah, he managed Cambodia. I mean, I don't know what he's doing now, but yeah, he was immense. I wish he, he won those players. I wish he came to the Premier League as well. Yeah, really wish yeah. It, that, it seems to be that around that time of like... Because uh, it seems to be like the Russian league, you got you get in it, you can't get out of it. Now you can, obviously, because, well, events. But... Um, like, it seems like there was loads of players who were like unreal on FIFA who never, who barely ever got Mate. out of there. Like M and E K. It's it's the one guilty thing about like playing old FIFA's. It's like let's check the Russian league. Yeah. And Ada Magidi's at Spartak Moscow. Then it had remember Alexander Kurzakov. Oh oh oh! There's a player. There is a player. I remember. I remember Igor Akinfeyev. Remember him. Um, he's still playing. Yeah, I can say. Um, shit off, shut up. Uh, <laughs> so, was, was, yeah, in the same team, there was shut off and jerk off, which is quite funny. Zerk, yeah, was, yeah, and um, Artem, Artem Zuber. Oh yeah, I used to get called Artem Zuber all the time because he's a big fucking clumsy cunt, essentially. Yeah. Um, but the, uh, the I remember Igor Akinfeyev's uh, going. To segue back to Japan, um, uh, was saying like I think it was Vladivostok or someone got in the got in the Russian Premier League for a season, and then like everybody had to travel like twelve hours minimum to go and play. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, they got relegated yeah. immediately, I think. But uh, anyway, Japanese football. Let's yeah, talk sorry, Japan. Yeah. Not, not Russia. Northern Hemisphere. Northern Hemisphere. There we go. Um, the amount of teams is one of the Greater Tokyo. Speaking of, there's like about ten teams in the Greater Tokyo area, and then oh, uh, well, some, Tokyo is massive, isn't it? Yeah, and then uh, like the the concentration of them, and there's like one or two teams that are just. Like Hokkaido, like Hokkaido Considole support or at the top. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, now J League, I assume most people obviously Nagoya Grand Pacet is where Gary Lineker uh, ended his career. Um, but I think, I mean, it's streamed on the Zone. I think I was looking before. Mm. I think oh, most it, of it's on YouTube. I think most of them. I think with a league like this. Instead of, an argument could be made, although a very weak argument could be made for leagues in Qatar and Saudi Arabia, that in 20 years time, they could be somewhat competitive if obviously they, uh, you know, fund more in uh, grassroots stuff, uh, homegrown players, instead of just, you know, sort of poaching people Mm. for big money. Uh, If you invested in things like the J League, or, mm. or, or the K-League. You know, I'd watch, if it was on Sky Sports, BT Sport, I I, I, I I would watch that. And I think the advent of the World Club Cup next year, which is like the World Cup, but for club oh, teams, yeah. you know, I think Arawa Red Diamonds are in it. There's the chance for another Japanese team to be in it as well. But the, the ultras Make are it more like... accessible to people is what I'm saying. Yeah. The the ultras um the ultras of like all the Japanese clubs are unreal like Orara Ora, that's really hard to say though Orara Orawa Reds there we go fucking hell um I've um and they have like you, can, you always see like barmy displays and stuff like that um like for Gal to send I have a good good one um they have a Copper ninety documentary as well. Because um, they're they're, oh. they're where the earthquake they're sort of like Sendai's not far from where the earthquake fucking you know twatted Japan um, uh, geographically yeah I, think that was the, yeah I think that was in the BBC report that yeah the, um, <laughs> but the, <laughs> and the earthquake has twatted Japan um, <laughs> la- labyrinths labyrinths tour um, <laughs> the, um, labyrinths. <laughs> The but yeah, the, has, the, Lab, Lab, Labyrinth, by the way, has one of the worst lyrics I've ever heard. Oh, go on, where he references Simon Cowell and then references his production company Psycho, mm. uh, which is an abbreviation of his first. Oh, band. Yeah, yeah. I think it's like he says, Hey Simon, something, and then he goes, He's a psycho, but he references he means the production company, uh, just that's poor, which, um, yeah. Isn't very nice to people who win Britain's Got Talent by all accounts. Anyway, um, <laughs> let's. Leon let's Jackson, two thousand and seven X Factor. Whatever happened to him? Yeah. They got yeah. rid of. They, they didn't let There's him be no. famous because he was Scottish. It's oppression. <laughs> <laughs> McManus, fine. Jackson, <laughs> no. Sher- um, Cheryl Cole is as far north as they're willing to go. I was. I was always. I liked Andy the Bin Man. I think he came with, I don't, anyway, if anyone anyway. knows Andy the Bitman, do tweet like us at Cultures Pod. <laughs> teams, I'm looking at teams, I can't, obviously can't, teams. whenever you look at a league, I think I've got to, you know, choose someone, keep an eye on them, let's see how we yeah. do. Oh, I will uh, just say, so I will just preface, just before we get into teams, I did mention it before and forgot to finish my point. Um, my team, who are not in the J League, they're in the J League 2, because I love misery, um, are Mito Hollyhock. <laughs> The finest, the finest team. Blue Dragon on the badge w- scored three consecutive equalisers in three weeks from draws in the 90-odd minute. Um, and I'll love them forever. So, yeah, wow. yeah, they're just fucking, what a team. And I think they're the greater Tokyo area. It looked quite close, Mito to Tokyo. Is that the same but, league as the team that are called, like, something point winners? Oh, that's, that's the third, yeah, it's kind of, cause Oshi, Kazuyoshi Miura is a King Kazoo's team. One of the oh, one of the teams. Yeah, we've got to discuss um, Kazuyoshi Miura, the fifty-six-year-old. Yeah, let's talk him. Let's talk him. But yeah, the the best, the best. You said VVV Venlo there before. The best team, best team name in world football is J League Three team Suzuka Point Getters. 
Set is the ROM seal of football clubs. There's a shirt on um, Subside, Subside Sports that's called like Ho Chi Minh City Press Journalists or something like that. <laughs> that's, that's, that is, that's, one, that's one for the collection. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, Kazuyoshi Mura, 56 years of age, still playing. He's currently on loan at um, Olivenese in Portugal, I assume mm. second or third division. Oh, yeah. Uh, but is contracted to Yokohama FC. Um, yeah, I think, yes. I, think well, I think I think it's because he, he he was playing in the uh, playing in the off season, obviously, because Japan finishes in like October, so yeah. it's a summer league, which makes no That's... sense why it's a summer league because Japan's like notoriously unbearable in the summer. Yeah, so it makes no sense anyway. Um, I don't know if he played for Japan in the World Cup, but I also remember that Japan. I've got a Japan shirt. It's not. It's relatively new, maybe like ten years old. But there's a Japan, a great Japan one winning the '98 World Cup with the Flames, mm. the Asics one. Is oh, yeah. um, fifty-six years old though. I mean, when did Terry Teddy Sheringham's got to be the oldest player in the Premier League? I think he played until he's forty. Maybe Jens Lane. Uh, no, a bit of Friedel, maybe. I don't know. Friedel, yeah. Mm. There's fifty-six been a, though. That's been mad. Like a, a minute, I'd say forty-two or forty-three is probably the oldest in the Premier League. Because as good as it is, you have got to admit that you don't want to be nutmegged by him. Nah. Yeah, you don't want to be, you don't want to be beaten for pace, do you? Yeah. By a 56-year-old man. But no, I, I'm not sure if he's coming back, but Yokohama did get relegated, so he might, it might be more his level. Yeah, um, that's true. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, big up King Kazoo. So he'll still be playing at 56. I don't know how he's still been given contracts. But like, it seems to be like... Like Nakamura played till he was forty three. Makoto yeah. Hasebe, who playing for Eintracht Frankfurt, yes, uh, is forty or forty one. Um, so the longevity, yeah. Um, oh, just okay. remember, is it Sakai who played for Marseille oh, and um, Kubo? Is he Real Sociedad? Oh yeah, Takafusa. Ta- oh. yeah. Ta- oh, Kubo. Yeah. yeah, there was um. I nearly made I nearly made a horrific portmanteau uh, of longevity and the first three letters of Japan, and then realised that would be racist. So I didn't. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> the um, oh, the free two as well. I, I said because I, re- I just wrote down everything that I'm aware of with Japanese football, and mm. uh, the free two. Uh, obviously, the one of the best bits of commentary before we go on to one of the best bits of commentary I ever heard uh, was Japan playing Cameroon. The 2010 World Cup, and uh, it was like 60 minutes in, nil nil, not a lot happening. And uh, Guy Mowbray goes, uh, Don't go anywhere, you might miss something. <laughs> Mark Lawrence goes, Like what, your tea? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. Uh, Japan, Japan go on and score straight after. Um, <laughs> he's, a, but, he's, he's a great, I, I love Mark Lawrence just for all the like, because he's done it so many times. He's like, He's like the terrestrial TV Charlie Nicholas, isn't he? Like just yeah. fucking yeah, just makes makes a shit joke. Oh, there's his little fellow. You, you want to go to Spitzy versus Chicken? Right? <laughs> you want to go to Spitzy versus Chicken? Right? And they they also were two 0 up against Belgium in the 2018 World Cup, one of the best games of football I've ever oh, seen. Oh yeah. And unfortunately, fell to the demise of uh... NASA Chadley. Nobody, yes, nobody wants to get knocked out by NASA Chadley. And a very weird, I don't know if you remember, a very awful, and I, I was fuming with this, an awful Toby Alderweireld header, where he literally like heads it in the air and it just like dips all the way up and all the way in. That's oh, absolutely yeah. gutted. Anyway, they uh, reached the last 16 last year, or the year before last World Cup, and got beat. Oh, yeah, we beat, beat Germany. Yeah, we did beat Germany. Mm. Yes. Shame they didn't take that notion upon the years of 39 to 45, but we will take it <laughs> when we get it. <laughs> Thank you, Japan. Um... Beat Germany, <laughs> beat Spain, but did not beat Costa Rica. Uh, teams in the J-League... There yes, was a before we get co- on to the war. <laughs> a, a, couple, uh, a couple that caught my eye. Uh, one was uh, Kawasaki. I didn't want to jump in with them. Because I, they've, they, mm. I think they've won like four titles in the past six years, and I thought that's a bit of bandwagon, a bit too recently biased. But they also boast having the one and only Batafembi Gomez. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's hard, it's hard not to fall in love with the team that Baffer, that Baffer Timbi Gomez plays for, isn't it? 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember him at Leon, I think, and I think I remember playing for like France a couple of times. I thought he was alright, and then he went to Swansea. You know who he should have played for with that celebration? Hull. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. See. Oh, this shit. Yeah. And they yeah. could have, they could have trademarked that. Yeah. I don't know if you're. Uh, I don't know if I've told this story before on the pod. I might have told it to you, but when I first gave stand up a go at the uh, age of seventeen, I had a joke about Hull City, and I said uh, <laughs> in Liverpool. I said, "Oh, this was. Oh, this was even cringy. This was for my one of my my A level. This was in front of friends and family. It was even worse." <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> I said, I said, oh, I don't like modern football. The culture, the culture's uh, identity Freedom. back in 2014. And uh, I said, I don't like modern football because uh, have you seen this? It's probably Jerry Seinfeld. Have you seen this lately? Yeah. Hull City want to change their name to Hull City Tigers. They're playing black and orange. With a tiger on the badge and the nickname for Tigers. And then I did like a big like pause and went what's next is Tony the Tiger going to pop out at half time and go Hull City there mid table at best <laughs> it's a good <laughs> joke though awful awful I like it right, died that, 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 should, that, that should that should be in the in the new hour that died <laughs> I could feel Tom Huddleston telling me to fuck off um <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they've got better than Big Omis. Yeah, back to that. Yeah, we've gone from Kawasaki to Hull. Well, there's a better but, few um, Kawasaki's in a Kawasaki's in Hull. They seem like a kind of you know like a bike. A, a man who likes a bike lives in Hull. Yeah, well, like a motorbike. Yeah. He lives. He lives there. The, uh, I nearly got I nearly got run over by a bike once. Um, no, I got run over by. I think I've never heard. I I got ran over by a motor. Here's a fun fact about me. I nearly got run over by a motorbike, but didn't. Mm. I've been ran over by a push bike. No. Oh. And I'm the only person to get whiplash from not being in a car. <laughs> how did you get how um, did you get whip how did you get whiplash? Someone beeped at me uh whilst I was walking down the road and I turned like oh. that and as I turned I, I I really hurt my neck. Oh, oh that's <laughs> funny. Uh, but uh, well. anyway, the team I've chosen the think the team I'm gonna go for oh, yeah. is uh Kyoto Sanga. Now Ooh. Asked my fiance about this. She uh, lived in Japan, uh, and uh, asked her, said, "Have you watched any J League?" She said, "No." Uh, I just asked him to put the Wales games on when I was there. That's fine, cool. But uh, I thought, do you know what? It's 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 the place she's told me about the most. She's been there. She's lived there. I thought, why not? Just that makes life a bit easier. And then I discovered the kit. <laughs> oh yeah, very nice. Purple and red. Uh, Fiorentina from the 90s, I've called. Ciao. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Origato. 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 Sponsored by none other than Kyocera. Oh, I don't know if you remember them. Reading in 0607. <laughs> Leroy Lita Zaki. Le- 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 <laughs> Leroy Lita. Your Dave Kitson. Your Marcus Hannibans. Uh, Same one. I've got a quiz idea, by the way, speaking of oh, yeah. Reading. Uh, mm. I'm not going to do it now, maybe for like a live show. I thought of it, it's called, it's called Hunky Dory, Nicky Shorey, right? <laughs> Basically, you have speak. to tell if the quote I read out was from David Bowie, Hunky Dory, or Nicky Shorey. And I thought you could read out a very... <laughs> so you could say... Oh, you could say, no. <laughs> I think I think in thirty years time AI will run music. Who said that? Was it David Bowie or Nicky Shorey? Now be careful. Be careful. Um, oh. Anyway, shout out Nicky Shorey if you listen. I think Simon Davis on that Reading team. Anyway, uh, so yes, Kyoto let's play Sanger. King of Pop or Joby Mackinoff. It's Michael <laughs> Jackson versus Joby Mackinoff. Quote: Who said what? <laughs> yeah, just. Towards that final third, I don't think uh, we had enough depth in order to uh, create the space we needed to get an equaliser. Who said that? Joby McEnough or King <laughs> of Pop? Michael Jackson. It was Michael Jackson in Macaulay Culkin's bedroom, of course. There we go. <laughs> oh, lovely. 
Paul has got to get the paedophile material in. There we go. Um, Lovely. <coughs> uh, so, I'm going to go with Kyoto Sanger. Uh, Forza, Forza Kyoto. Uh, they're going to be my team for the season. And they are playing uh, Kashua Reiso. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. They had, they did have a few years ago. Mike, uh, Michael Alunga, who was top goal scorer with like thirty eight goals or something. Uh, wow. I mean, the, the top goal scorer is always, almost always, um, a a foreign six foot two plus striker because the centre backs aren't tall enough. Um, so on like on average, um, um, so like Michael Alunga was like, yeah, Kashima Raisol, and he was like 38, because he was six foot five, Kenyan, massive, just fucking bosh. And uh, one of the one of the Otakas, if you remember, John, it's, I can't remember if it's John or Peter. He still plays in the J-League, can't remember who for. Uh, he's good. You know Mitchell Duke of uh, Australia? Yeah, fame. Australia, yeah. Uh, playing for Makeda Zelvia. Um, wow. Yeah. Um, and then there's a, there's a few other... There was, it was it Jay Bothroyd was playing for... Um, yes, yes. Yeah, was playing for uh, Kaido, uh, Consadoli Sapporo, a few years ago. I think he's retired now. Uh, but yeah, he was like... Three, I think he was 39 and top, top and like won the Golden Boot or something. Wow. Really? Yeah. That's another pro as well. It give, does give players, like, the opportunity to, from like you say, from countries that probably don't have a strong enough domestic lead to go somewhere like that and, and flourish. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, apart from Lineker and Gomez, I was struggling to think of like players who've gone there. But Jay Boffer is an absolute shout. Yeah, I thought, oh, I thought, it, like we were saying, it was. Good. I do, have, <coughs> I do have a theory that Japan will eventually, like in say twenty, thirty years, will will like maybe not win a World Cup, but like be in the you know be perennial semi-final, quarter-finalist. Yeah. Because yeah, because you think out the leagues only been going since nineteen ninety four, so it's thirty years. Yeah, and how good Japan are as an international, and how good the clubs are, because like they always get to the uh, AFC Champions League for, to get, get against teams that have been going for a lot longer. Obviously, not like the infrastructure of them leagues isn't brilliant, but um, yeah, like you've got uh, you've got you've got to think really that uh, just get a couple of six foot one, six foot two centre backs instead of Maya Yoshida five foot ten, and you're happy. That's a very good point. I think. Uh... Yeah, for a league that's been going 30 years, uh, you know, that's what annoyed me a bit about, like, because they hosted the World Cup in 2002, but it feels like, I don't know, I, was, I can't remember, I was five then, so I, I don't remember much about, like, the aftermath of the World Cup, but it feels like a lot more effort has been put into Qatar and Saudi post the last World Cup and for the one after the next one, which is going to be in Saudi Arabia, whereas I kind of felt like in Japan and Korea, it was amazing for both of those teams because they won reached the quarterfinals of a rich semi final. Mm. Well, means, but still. <laughs> <laughs> South Korea getting 700 penalty. Yeah. Uh, whereas it kind of felt like after the battle, it was like, oh, that's done now. Kind of a bit mm. like South African World Cup where it was like, oh, it was nice that. It was like a nice sort of like lining in a bottle moment for everyone. Mm. But we're not going to sort of invest in the South African League or something. So, like, yeah. I think I think you know if more players, if more play, and it said to me, it says a lot about a country that its top talent plays in a different league, mm. that they still manage to have you know like a great like, like that Japan team is great on on, but yeah, yeah. on paper and on the pitch. South Korea, I mean, you know, Jurgen Klinsmann hasn't been great, but uh, the guy yeah. Steve just Steve Bruce in, apparently, so that'd be funny. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Steve Bruce is up for the South Korea job. How's the kimchi? Did you say? Um, I think I saw. I think I robbed that joke of someone. I do apologise. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, I think I saw that. Oh my so God. Apologies, apologies to whoever I've stolen that. Up. Um, uh, the um, but no, the the uh, with Japan, with with, with blah, 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 blah. I'll, uh, well, that's an edit, Eugene. Thank you. Um, but with the, like you were saying, with the World Cups and stuff, Qatar doesn't have the population. No. Um, like, Qatar, like, actual Qataris, there's only, like, 200,000 or something. Um, and everybody else who lives there is either a tax exile 
or um, an arms dealer or a, a, an oppressed migrant worker. Um, <laughs> so, the, uh, like, I don't think Qatar was ever, that was never going to happen. But, like, Saudi, I suppose, you do, like, has a much bigger population. It's like 40 million people. Maybe, maybe there's a chat, but, like, the, yeah, the Japanese league got Gary Lineker over and there's kind of a few money signings like that, but Saudi Arabia as a, as a country can't really exist more than 20 years because, like, well, oil is going to run out. So yeah. what the fuck are you going to do then? Um, <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah, so, so uh, basically... Newcastle United will be thwarted by Greta Thunberg. Come on. <laughs> so I don't just don't like with yeah. the with the with the thing of to invest. Uh, it is a real shame South Africa because obviously they've got you know Mamalodi Sundowns. Who wouldn't like to see them doing well? Um, yeah. Kaiser Chiefs. No, because they've been ruined by a terrible band from Doncaster or wherever they're fucking from. Um, uh, I do like employment though. Do you like the first two albums? I do like. Um, I You're wrong. But there we go. Um, <laughs> Orlando Pirates. Orlando Pirates. Uh, this is the J League special. Thank you so, for yeah, tuning into uh, <laughs> South African football. The, we'll, we'll go through this week's fixtures. Uh, oh yeah, we'll do predict. I'll, I'll I'll see if I can predict them. Right. So if we can got, get, um, get it right. First off, we've I'm got, now uh, going to have to bet on this as well because if I get it right and don't bet on it, I'll fucking kill myself. Safrechi v Urawa. Oof, I'd say I'd say Urawa there. Uh, then you've got uh, Nagoya v Kashima Antlers. Oof, Nagoya, probably. Uh, Julabo Iwate v Vissel Kobe. Vissel Kobe. The, the, oh yeah! Oh yeah! 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 yeah. Vissel Kobe up until last season. Andres Iniesta. Yeah, oh, there we go. We've got, oh, we've got Iniesta. Uh, no, go. Did Xavi play in the J League? No, no. No, uh, I think Xavi played in... Did Xavi play in Qatar? Qatar they managed to club yeah. in Qatar, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, Iniesta. Yeah, um, yeah, there's Sergi Samper as well, who's not as good, but <laughs> also Spanish. <laughs> then we've got Avispa uh, Fukuoka, the... Uh, right. Consable Sapporo. That's not right. So there's is is, is a betting tip for you. Uh, Hokkaido do not lose at home ever. I have very <laughs> very. I've never seen them lose at home. Well, I have, but you know what I mean. Um, so I'll but I'll go I'll go a Vispa. In fact, no, I won't. I'll go for a draw. Draw. Then we've then. got we'll go draw. There, I've put down draw. D, D for draw. Then we've got you have, to, you, have to, you have to text me these answers, James, because I will have to bet on it. <laughs> I will have to. <laughs> um, and then you've got Sion Tosu, Tosu, sorry, the uh, Ingata. But, uh, but, oh, but this is, oh, Niigata. Um, oh, yeah, sorry. Ni, hold um, on, yeah. Ni, mm, Sagan Tosu, they're favourites for relegation. Um, but I don't know. That seem to always do all right for me. I'm, I'll say draw again. Although I think on my bet I have gone for Sagan and win, but I'll go on this one. But I wait. It's a public forum. I'll go for a drill. Then we've got um, Show Shonen Belmare v uh, Kawasaki. Kawasaki Shonen a shite. And then we've got uh, Cerezo Osaka v FC Tokyo. Ooh, uh, I think Cerezo again, probably. Nice home win there. Uh, and then you've got uh, Machida Zaldia, the Gamba Osaka. I go for Machida, 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 whatever they're called, Big Mitchell Duke, I think. I tried to find top goal scorer markets for J the J League, but I couldn't. But I do feel Mitchell Duke, as even though as a newly promoted player, he's six foot fucking five. Float across him, bang. Bosh. Bosh. Uh, Tokyo Verdi v Yokohama. Tokyo. Oh, Yokohama F Marinos. Yes. Part of City Group. Um, oh. Uh, and uh, and uh, and and Poster Coglu's former team as well. Um. Uh, probably yeah, Yokohama because he's got loads of money. And they usually and they finally, win last week. We've got uh, Kashiwa Reysol v Kyoto Sanga. 
I'm going to go Kyoto Sanger. Not just for you, James, but because Kashiwa are shite. <laughs> Lovely stuff. And there we go. At least this time, I haven't picked a club just to whose philosophies are very right wing. <laughs> um, <laughs> Japan. <laughs> no, you know, the, uh, the, oh, there's, the best, there's a great thing about Japan, Japanese football is every team has like, you never get away with it here because you just, everybody would call, call it, you know, American or Nancy or whatever. But I, but in the, sang, in the nice little safe space of Japanese football, every club has, a, has its own mascot. And some of them are fucking mental. Like, <laughs> like there's like a where there's like there's been like it's like sort of like an ideal boilers man for West Brom, but there's one for every oh, club. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. saw a documentary. Reese Darby, New Zealand comedian, went to Japan and he wanted to make a mascot. It's called like something something Chan, and he made a pav he made a Pavlova mascot. Oh, that's called cool. pa- pa- Pabu Chan or something like that. But yeah, I have heard of it. Every <laughs> club fun. has has its own. But uh, we should, yeah, we'll do we'll do yeah. um, we'll we'll do when we've uh, when we've uh, we'll do it we'll do a J League review um, and we'll see uh, we'll go through the mascots. Yeah. Eh? Well, that, oh, that's mate, that'd be great. There we go. We'll do that. We'll do that Mask for the review. video. I've written, I've written that down. I've written down Andres Iniesta in the uh, capitals, and I've written down mascot review. Um, <laughs> Just the Iniesta special. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm yeah. Big up Kyoto. Gonna follow this. Mito, uh, Ho- Mito Hollyhock for promotion. J League Two. We're having it this year. It's our you year. Can, you can watch it on the zone. I refuse to pay for another subscription service. Mm. Um, oh, a dodgy fire stick. If you know where to get one, not that so, I would. The best answer uh, is yeah. Do I don't know. Uh, I'm not going to endorse. I'm not going to endorse anything. Um, but well, I, I, I will be up. At, uh, I will be up at for at least the first few weeks at five o'clock, six o'clock on Saturday mornings. And not just because I'm still up. I'm going to wake <laughs> up um, and uh, yeah, watch some Japanese football. Live what tweet. I will... I'll live tweet it from the Cultures Pod account. What I will say for uh, Southeast Asian football fans in the UK, there was a guy who tweeted. Uh, a picture of a uh, uh, a South Korean fan who had a half Son jersey, a shirt, sorry, Mm. half Shonen Son jersey, and a half Huang He He Chan jersey. Came under quite a lot of controversy. However, one person did rightly put out that, you know, it's two South Korean players playing against each other. Mm. You are... He's come from fucking Busan to watch them. Exactly, yeah. So, like, if anything... Good on him, and they're not going to leave at half time or seventy minutes in. Yeah, yeah. and I, I didn't agree with that animosity of like, oh, we shouldn't make the game. Who are you to judge? Um, you yeah, know, but like I say, I I travelled three and a half hours to Newcastle to watch Chris Wood come on for three minutes with <laughs> the Flying Kiwis. It was a great day out. We had a great time. Chris Wood waved at me. That's a story for another time. Um, but yeah, I didn't agree with that. But you know, a, 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 the, the, the way they were treated as if it was just like yeah, I think it's it's, it's like, tourist, like, a tour, like a tourist thing. I was like, well, yeah, no, but they generally want to watch them. Tour, tourists in like the the tourists you've got to worry about in uh, the Premier League football are not the actual tourists. It's the fucking yeah. um, it's the fucking people who go there and sit and go there, ruin the atmosphere um, and. Uh, you know, don't go there, ruin the atmosphere, and complain about it to get the manager out on Twitter uh, after a draw. And th- those people are all English, yeah, and usually from the south, <laughs> supporting <laughs> Liverpool or United. Get Southgate out. He's got England to a semi-final uh, and a final. Hey, and shit. A final Bye, shit guy. He's sad to crash you, idiot. He's not it, one. Man. I actually don't want to do World Cup with Kieran Sheffield in that. If I did my way, the next manager would be English. He is uh, English. Well, yeah, but not him. <laughs> well, at least, at least you've got to get out. I want the chissy ace. Somebody who's not bloody woke. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't mind if you're in the team and you're vaccinated, OK? <laughs> but if you're not, and I'm talking AstraZeneca, I'm talking <laughs> Pfizer, OK? You're my dad is in the world. In modernity, I'll even take Johnson and Johnson. No more tears. We're just fucking country needs. 
No more tears, no more tear free. No more tear for knowledge and the 21s here. Just shot. All I'm saying is, like I said before, the next manager needs to be English. Gareth Southgate's English. Yeah, but not him. <laughs> Who do you want then? Who do you want? I want, I want, do someone, you want English, English. Fans? someone English like Mark Hughes. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell they've got a cover photo that on Facebook that says, I'll be turning my clock back to 1942 where this country had some bottle. Yeah. It's, like, it's like the boomer version of my guy. Yeah. Sorry to end that on a, a you know, yeah. but, political well, rant. But it's the 21st century and football should be a welcome thing for everybody. Yeah. And, it, you know, fa fans who've come from abroad to cheer on a, a player from their country should not be chastised for that. And all so, citizens who do not adhere to the principles of Marxist-Leninism shall be shot upon my coming to power. Allegedly. So thanks Allegedly. for that. Uh, no, I'm doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this uh, J League uh, rough guide preview. Again, it's a league that I uh, uh, haven't haven't sort of um, what's the word uh, been 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 attentive to, uh, but I, but but I will be going forward. Uh, up Kyoto Sanya, up uh, Pohang Meet Seagull, Holly Hock, Meet uh, Meet Holly Hock. Hock. Uh, Bata Gomez, yeah. uh, Mitchell Duke, Carter, Sean Sokin, yeah. Um, yes. Oh, Haraguchi is a midfielder who scored against Belgium. I think it was Haraguchi. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yam uh, yeah, yeah. Yamaguchi, Haraguchi, something like that. Yeah. Oh, nice. um, yes, and uh, we will we will bring you a mascot review as well. That's a great mascot idea. Mascot review. We need, yeah, we need to do that. We need, we'll, yeah. we'll, get, we'll get it where, we'll get it where we, we'll splice pictures in as well so you can see what's on. Yes. About. We could do a mascot review of the J League and uh, definitely like a sort of football league one because there are some shockers. Yeah, we need to. Do that. Yeah, Matt, that's a good. That's a great. That's ne like, this is. I tell you what, James, you're you're on half term. We'll talk. I don't know why we're talking about this at the end of the recording. Fuck it. We'll uh, we'll talk about it off camera, but we'll do yeah. that. Because <laughs> there's some Premier League. I mean, Blue Moon. I'm looking at you. Mm. Yeah. City right, when you when you go in when you go in northern quarter and ask what bottles they got in the fridge, Blue Moon. I'm looking at you. <laughs> Come on. And now that's how you end a podcast. Goodbye. Follow us. On, follow us on at the Culturist Pod. That's how you fucking end a podcast. No orange slice. Uh, no. <laughs> I prefer it. Right, uh, you can follow us at Cultures Pod, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, if you want to send us anything, if you've got anything you want to send us, like a uh, cult hero that you think we haven't mentioned or someone who you want to be mentioned. Death uh, threats. Yeah. Uh, anything, about the, anything about the J League. If you if you watch the J League and want to you know, send us stuff, that'd be great. Um, and yeah, anything you can, anything you think of, just tweet us at Cultures Pod. Uh, or messages on Instagram. Uh, but as always, I've been and will continue to be James Allen. Uh, <laughs> if that's been filmed, the taser. And we will see you next week for another episode. See you later. Uh,